Hey Westbrook, welcome to the Rockstar Report, where we always ask, what if we can? And it is Friday, and what a Friday it is. I just have so much to say today, I don't know where to start. Um, first, I'm gonna start with the random. I'm in my office, which is full of windows, and I'm noticing the shifts in uh, the sunlight as we go through the seasons, and I currently have a light reflecting off my table, and I think it's creating like a selfie light. So that's that's how we're going to start today. But anyway, um, today was our costume parade, and I just can't even say enough about it, how how great it was. And I, I just have to tell you, um, it was it was a big deal. Like we were we we're crossing the street into another neighborhood. Nobody's ever done that before, and um, and I I think everybody wondered what the heck I was thinking and, and how was this going to go, including myself. But it was, uh, it was, I, it was so great. And all I have to say is I'm so glad we took this risk to see what it was like. And because otherwise we would have never, never known. And we did it and it was amazing. And I promise we're going to do it again. So uh, the, I had been working with the community, Heritage Solaire, and um, every single one of them was like, thank you. This brought more joy than you know to our lives and I couldn't help but get teary as I was just waving to them and thanking them for coming and they made gift bags for our students and um, they just are incredible and they're working in our classrooms they're gonna make lunch for us on our one of our PD days uh, the second time they've done that I just like the community here is unreal and um, and speaking of hello our fall festival so my last rockstar report was before the fall festival and holy cow like we had we sold 955 entry passes to that event that means that there were people just from our community that wanted to be part of this it's like we're the hub of social <laughs> social things in, in west in this area but um that was so great and so many people put so much work into into making that happen we had so many parents involved in our parade today we've had about half of our parents working on getting these grade level shirts <laughs> sorted today um everyone is is get, putting their hands in the work and part of our team and and we are this is our first year which is always very exciting and people are are wanting to be involved and i ask you to help me keep this going like this is just the standard we set this is what we do here at Westbrook we're all part of it and we all keep going um, because it just feels good and I think everybody feels like they're part of what we're doing and that is is the goal but anyway I know I just talked about how much I love Westbrook but I can't help it it's it's just a great place to be so um oh I want oh I actually want to tell you something funny I went into every class today um, I just wanted to check in, see how we're doing. I saw a lot of you volunteering, lots of parties, lots of good things. And and there was learning happening today. Just want to let you know that that's a very special thing on a day like this. Um, and the kids were really well behaved today. It was, it was a good day. Um, and I want to remind you, there is no school Monday or Tuesday. Okay, the teachers will be here working, but no kids Monday or Tuesday. So mark your calendars, remind yourselves, all those things. We don't want any kids dropped off here. Um, and unfortunately, there will be school on Wednesday, which is the day after Halloween, but nothing we can do about that. So no school Monday, Tuesday. Um, we are starting, we're going to start big time. We're having a canned food drive um, starting next week. So we're a little late into it. It's at KCRA. I have a little flyer here. Kids are going to get them. But it's a KCRA Kids Can Food Drive, which I like. And we're going to do a lot of philanthropic things here at Westbrook. We have a K Kids Club, which is um, gives back to their community. And we're a little late into this. It's October 9th through November 10th. And that's mostly just because uh, we're trying to get our feet under ourselves still. <laughs> and so um, we got to the point where we can take it on, but I still think we can, it doesn't matter how long, I think we can still get a lot of cans for this group. Um, so that'll be fun to give back to our community. And I want to teach our kids if that's what we do here. Um, another big announcement, conference week is coming. So you're getting emails from your teachers saying sign up for your conference. And at that time, you'll go in and you'll just learn about how great your kid is, what they're doing, maybe where they need some extra support, talk about the report card, all that good stuff. But that is November 13th through the 17th. And here's a, you need to mark your calendars, set your alarms on your phone for this. They get out at 1125 every day that week. That It's a short day. And then teachers are doing conferences after that time. Um, so 
that's a, I know it's going to be an impact on your schedule. So make sure that you get carpool rides or whatever. And then another thing I want to mention is every kid in the school has the same lunch time. And um, so we don't encourage eating here at school, but if you need to get lunch at school, that's okay. I say we don't encourage it because like if everybody's waiting in line for hot lunch, that is not pretty because there's not much time. <laughs> so um, on that those days, I encourage sending snacks with your kids. And then if they're able to eat at home, I would probably do that because 1125 is pretty early anyway. Um, the kids would all be at recess unless they want to eat. That's kind of what it looks like. I'm probably going to mention it four times before conference week, but I just wanted to start telling you about that now. Um, oh, and then after conference week is Thanksgiving break. And Mrs. Brooks is pretty excited for Thanksgiving break. <laughs> so rumor has it that's when principals of new schools may get to rest. Just kidding. Um, I don't, I am happy with all the work that's going in and I love everything that's happening and I, I wouldn't have it any other way. So, but maybe I'll sleep over Thanksgiving break. Anyway, um, I will be at the West Park football game tonight. It's the last home game, so I encourage you to come as well. Uh, check it out. It's very fun. Uh, the band, I know it's late, but the, the band and dance team and everybody performs at halftime. It is like, it's like a, an NFL halftime show. I'm telling you, they do such a good job. You just can tell how much work and pride is going into it. So that's fun because, again, like I always say, our kids are going to go there and, and be part of those things. But that's all I'm going to say for today. You have a wonderful weekend, remember, four days, and uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you for watching this episode of the Rockstar Report, where we always ask, what if we can?